this is what you get if you order the uh, chip focal 2 from GLC PCB pick and place not all components are installed but uh, most of the small ones are so let's see what you need to add uh, manually here I'm uh, soldering the driver unit there's also an option for this one to to be soldered by GLC but uh, it was not available when I placed the order Once you solder it uh, with the heat gun, you must get rid of all of the excessive uh, solder, so none of the pins are breached except for a few ones that uh, need to be, and uh, those ones are also visible on the PCB. I think the driver and the IMU are the most complex parts to solder, so once you solder those two you should have no problem soldering everything else align the IMU BMI 160 by the white dot in the corner there's a dot on the IMU and a dot on the PCB solder it uh, again with the heat gun and remove the excess uh, solder around it. The value of the pull up and pull down resistors uh, depends on the foot pad sensor that you are going to use. I use 25 kilo for the pull up and 1 kilo for the pull down. Let's continue with the capacitors. There is quite a few of them and there are different ones. Align those two with the white line on the PCB that shows the negative pole of them and solder them on both sides of the PCB. Here is the USB connector, its pins barely uh, go through the PCB but uh, if you solder them good it should be alright. Also the FETs should be soldered on both sides and uh, connected directly to the wire with enough solder to establish a good connection for high currents. Here I'm adding the main input wires, let's solder them well. Those are the main motor wires. Be sure to establish a thick connection from the main wires to the pads by adding some additional solder on the PCB. Mm -hmm. 
The rest is just the white GSD connectors. Those are easy to solder, so I didn't even film them. This is how it should look. And uh, don't forget of the heatsink. The FETs should not uh, be connected to the heatsink, so make sure to isolate those from the heatsink. You can do that with a gap filler, but I suggest you also add a piece of captain tape in between them. If you don't uh, and your fats are going to touch the heatsink, you're going to burn your poker. Place your poker into your DIY one wheel and don't forget to flash the boot loader on it. That's it about the cheap Fokker 2. I'm gonna talk about the Bluetooth module in the next video and about the board assembly. Foot pads, uh, range testing and all the settings are also coming up. Uh, as you can see in this video, I already made the carbon fiber fender. This is also gonna be covered in one of the next videos, so subscribe and see you next time.